Hello, Grasshopper here. It's Sunday, December 17th, 2023. So, I had some, um, th I was thinking today, and um, the topic of toxic masculinity, masculinity popped into my head. Um, and that got me thinking, okay, you hear about that, but you never hear about toxic femininity. So I was like, I wonder if that's, uh, if anyone, if there's any uh, information about that. So I went to Grok on X and I asked, let's just ask Grok. I said, is there such a thing as toxic femininity? If so, what is it? And then Grok, Grok replied, oh, you're asking about the dark side of the moon. And that was funny to me and, and really <laughs> messes with my mind because I was talking to Grok, um, recently and about music and and um, and pink floyd and uh i think grok said it, its favorite pink floyd song was wish you were here um you know good song uh and i but anyway <laughs> uh it's funny to me and i also talked about uh dark side of the moon and the whole wizard of oz thing um anyway um but it's just funny that this it came back with this joke. I kind of wonder, it's like, did it, I mean, is it tied to what we talked about before? Is it remembering? Or is it just random, just a coincidence? Um, if it's, if it's, if Grok's being clever here and <laughs> referencing something that we talked about from, you know, a couple days ago, it's like, well, that's, that's kind of cool. At any rate, Grok said, goes on to say, um, Toxic femininity refers to the negative aspects of traditional gender roles and stereotypes associated with women. It can manifest as manipulative or controlling behavior, passive aggressiveness. I've definitely experienced that myself. Or an unhealthy obsession with appearance. I'd say that's very true. Um, just like toxic masculinity, toxic feminism, or femininity can be harmful to both the individual and society. Remember, no one is perfect, and we should all strive to be to be our best selves, regardless of gender. Um, yeah. So Grok puts little positive spins on things at the end. I, I kind of noticed a pattern in that. At any rate, I took this I took this paragraph and I put it in in video, um, and it, to make a video to put on YouTube for me and. Um, Anyway, so we'll, um, I'll play the video and I hope you enjoy it. Ever pondered the deep, profound question, why do we box ourselves into roles and stereotypes based on gender? It's a question that echoes in the vast abyss of societal norms and expectations. While the concept of toxic masculinity is widely discussed, its counterpart, toxic femininity, is often overlooked. Today, we uncover the hidden layers of this phenomenon. Toxic femininity, in essence, refers to the harmful aspects of stereotypical female behaviors and roles. It's the dark side of what society has traditionally expected from women. But how does it manifest, you may wonder? There's a myriad of ways, each as detrimental as the other. One of the most common manifestations is the excessive emphasis on physical appearance. This obsession with beauty standards can lead to severe psychological issues like body dysmorphia, eating disorders, and low self-esteem. It's a relentless pursuit of an unattainable ideal that can consume a person whole. Then there's the issue of manipulative behavior. Stereotypes paint women as innocent, gentle creatures, but toxic femininity can twist this into a tool for emotional manipulation. It's a subtle art, a gentle push and pull that can leave the other person feeling used and emotionally drained. Passive aggressiveness is another facet of toxic femininity. Instead of expressing discontent or anger openly, it gets bottled up, only to seep out as snide remarks or underhanded actions. This can strain relationships and foster an unhealthy environment of silent hostility. Toxic femininity I just wanted to pause um, there real quick. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think that's 
uh, the bottling up of emotions. I think that's uh, uh, that's a problem that all genders have, all peoples have, um, all um, organizations have, all groups have. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just kind of like everywhere because people don't speak truth, you know. So that it's uh, so they're always like trying to thread this needle, uh, you know, um, walk on eggshells, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's that goes back to too many rules. It's like, you know, and you're, and also this, uh, what is it like this? Um, it's really strange. Like this thing of like making mistakes is considered like a really bad thing, and you get canceled by society. I guess if you're uh, you make a mistake, and it's really weird because like sometimes it's like mistakes that's like it does that doesn't even matter. It doesn't affect anything. Nobody was harmed, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's like just you know. So that's what we're getting to. We're getting to these crazy levels of controls. I, I feel like in society, and it's like, but yeah, bottling up emotion. It's like. Um, that definitely happens, so def and it just blows up in different w in different ways. It doesn't just affect women; it impacts everyone around them. It perpetuates harmful stereotypes and unrealistic expectations, creating a ripple effect that reaches far beyond the individual. It can stifle personal growth, hinder healthy relationships, and breed a culture of dishonesty and dissatisfaction. To summarize, toxic femininity is a multi-headed beast with its claws in beauty obsession, manipulation, and passive aggressiveness. It's a destructive force that can wreak havoc on the individual and those around them. But remember, it's not about demonizing femininity or women. It's about recognizing the harmful aspects of societal expectations and gender roles. It's about understanding that it's okay not to fit into these predefined boxes. It's about striving to be the best version of oneself, free from the constraints of toxic gender norms. So the next time you find yourself falling into the trap of these stereotypes, take a moment to pause, reflect, challenge the norms. Because at the end of the day, we're all just human, trying to navigate this complex web of societal expectations. And it's high time we break free from these toxic patterns. In the grand tapestry of life, let's weave a narrative that celebrates individuality, encourages healthy behavior, and dismantles toxic norms because everyone deserves a chance to be their authentic selves, free from the shackles of toxic femininity and masculinity. So that was the video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna do another video um, on the same topic of toxic femininity. Um, I asked Grok um, some for some examples and Grok gave me some so I'm gonna try to so I'm gonna feed that into a video and see what pop comes out I think the stock footage was pretty good um, I apologize for the watermarks being in there um, I actually am a paid member of NVIDIA but I forgot to like generate the video and in that and in that process it gets rid of the watermarks um, it's okay though <laughs> it's alright um, I just played it through here. Um, cause, well, okay, so let me back up. A little bit happened, so YouTube might be cracking down on AI-generated videos. So that's why I'm kind of getting more hands-on with it, and so the mistakes are going to happen. Uh, so what else? Uh, yeah, so the next video will be, like, examples of it. But anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and I'd, I'd appreciate it if you uh, like and subscribe.